these aren't really made for sweaty drummers. So I'm gonna plug that back in so I could hear my song. Wait for it to start. Let's see if they stand. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. These things don't stand for shit. Um, I don't know what's next. I have it on shuffle. System of the Down Essentials on uh, iTunes. So let's find out. I just played BYOB. Or most of it. All right, it's aerials, it's slow, but stick with it. We play all these songs uh, a lot faster in, uh, when we're live. So it's tough to play it at the album speed. I don't know if you guys could hear me.
incredible hill perch.
played it since we recorded it, so it's been a while. First time I've touched the drums since that little uh, mini tour that we did, I don't know, two months ago or whatever it was. Of course, uh, it's nice to play again. And it gives me a little bit more inspiration when you guys are watching. 
you know? I feel like I'm playing for somebody. It's kind of boring if you're practicing just by yourself, for yourself. But, uh, Rusty on some of those songs, like I said, I haven't played them in a long, long time. And it was nice to, to play them for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If anybody has an interesting question, this might be a good like couple minutes to talk about that. Let's see if there's a good one. We want to come everywhere. I want to come to Brazil, Argentina, everywhere. But unfortunately, that's not always a possibility. So if anybody has a question, type it in. A lot of technique stuff uh, changes from when you uh, when you make the album to when you start playing live. You know, um, you go through the pre-production process, you go to record, and uh, you know you're focused on making the album, finishing it, getting the getting the right vibe, getting the right tracks. <clears throat> and then, of course, when you go and play it live, you get to play them every day. You get to explore them more. They change. They grow. Sometimes you forget what you did, you know. Sometimes you only did it once um, in the studio, and that's a that's a take we use. So there is some variance there, and uh, because of that, you will see sometimes live drummers playing differently than they do in the studio. Of course, sometimes it's also because you know you can't quite play it the way you did when you were 19 years old or 25 years old or whatever the age was that you uh, that you recorded the song. That doesn't happen to be the case for me. I just haven't played some of these songs in so long, and I am a little bit out of practice. Somebody just asked what my uh, favorite song to play is. Uh, Revenga is probably up there. I can't say I have one definitive favorite, but if I was forced to pick one, that would probably be it. Um, Drum-wise, drum-wise, uh, part-wise. And then um, I think Holy Mountains is the most meaningful song for you to play. And the song that I like to listen to the most, which is probably my favorite System of a Down song, as a fan of System of a Down, the Soldier Side, just to me, it's an incredibly well-written song and very meaningful. The lyrics are amazing. And I think it's, it's, it's as complete a song as we have. Um, let's see, is there a... <laughs> No, you don't need to pay for this solo concert. Um, oh, some people... No, I'm not a cyborg, although I thought that was very witty and fun to uh, watch. I watched it several times. <clears throat> it's just that I don't believe in um, histrionics. Uh, what you see is what you get. When I'm playing live, I'm not focused on necessarily how I look or, you know, um, I, I've never been able to twirl a stick. I probably hit myself right in the face every time I've tried. And I'm so focused on playing the songs and, and trying to do as good a job as possible live that I never just got into the showmanship aspect of it. I, I personally think it's kind of cheesy. I guess if anything, you'll see sometimes that I'm angrier than others. If I can't hear myself or so, I feel like we're playing poorly or, or something like that, I might hit harder, but that's because that's how I feel. And that's why I don't do it every time or every show is because when I do it, it's real. You know, um, it's not something that's contrived that I'm doing day in and day out. Yeah, I post memes on my stories all the time because they're funny. Um, hello, Peru. Peru in the house now. Brazil. Brazil's back. Uh, let's see. What's No, that's enough for today. I'm not going to play anymore today. But I will say hello from Rhonda to Serge when I talk to him. Other than that, let's see. I'm waiting for a question. No questions? I will bounce out. How do you get over stage anxiety? I've never had stage anxiety. Um, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't know anything about it. I've never had it. Uh, I guess, I guess I, that's not true. One time I had it because we were playing War live and it was early on and we could never hear each other on stage. We didn't have the inner monitors or anything back then. It was on a French TV show. <clears throat> and, um, I was just a little bit nervous that we weren't going to come in together 
and I was going to get blamed for it because usually the drummers get blamed for the mistakes if there are any. So, um, you know, and I really wanted to do a good job. Plus, I was wearing a gas mask so the guys couldn't see me. And uh, that probably wasn't a great idea. But that was, I guess, the only time I've really been nervous. I don't get nervous on stage. You know, uh, cancers like to hide within things and have walls and barriers. So drums are perfectly suited for a cancer like me. Yeah, drumsticks have fallen out of my hands plenty of times. Um, I think one of them went like a javelin towards Serge one time and he just ducked underneath it just in time not to get impaled. But it does happen. Um, it's embarrassing when it happens because the whole band stops and looks at me and makes a big deal out of it. But, you know, um, luckily it doesn't happen very often. We did play in Japan years ago. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> I wish we'd played there more often, but we only played twice. And I think the last time we were there was 2003. So it has been a long time. Um, my sticks are a signature series stick that I use from Vic Fur. You know, I don't think you... They used to be available at Guitar Center and Specialty Shops, but I don't think... Um, I don't think they're available anymore. They're pretty expensive I, from what I remember. But you could probably find them somewhere. They don't break very often, which is probably another reason stores don't really want to carry them. Um, I made them to be very resilient and to sustain, sustain the uh, abuse that I put them through. So they are more likely to chip than crack. So if you look at my sticks, I don't know if you guys can get a good indication of the wear that happens. On the, um, on the left stick, usually the wear is uh, in this area here. Because this is what's hitting the rim, you know, as I hit. Um, and it'll be on the tip, sometimes here, but usually on the tip and isolated to this area. And then on the, on the right stick, you'll have a lot more wear to the tip in these areas because these are hitting toms and cymbals. This is hitting cymbals and sometimes hitting them here, especially on the ride. Um, so yeah, they are incredibly resilient. I don't remember cracking more than just a couple over the course of the last 15 years. So will, I play, will we play live in Armenia? That it would be amazing. I know we had it scheduled a couple of years back before COVID hit, <clears throat> but obviously that didn't happen. And now I don't know if it'll ever happen again. So if it's up to me, we're touring every every uh, year, guys, for at least two, three months. But uh, I don't control the band. I'm only one member. Have you ever written lyrics to the song? Couple. Um, I came up with the name for BYOB. I came up with a couple of lyrics here and there, but I never, I don't think I ever got credit for it. And it never really mattered to me to be credited for it, quite frankly. It's just not something that I care about. I don't smile because that's just the... Uh, when I'm playing drums, I'm not I'm not smiling because I'm hyper focused. I smile a lot in person and I make a lot of jokes with my friends and laugh a lot. But when it concerns uh, something as serious as drumming, especially when you you have a responsibility of playing in front of all those people, I'm not out there necessarily cracking jokes. Of course, occasionally that happens. Something happens funny, or um, you know, uh, there's a lot of side stuff that happens on the side stages and sometimes we'll have friends up there or uh if Sako a couple of times got a little inebriated during the show and, and went to go throw up and that was funny so i'd laugh i mean I, I laugh on occasion but generally speaking when i'm up there guys i'm playing for you and uh it's very important that you get as good a show as i can give you for my part of it because i know what it's like to uh, save up money to go to a concert, not go to work, maybe get fired from your job because you didn't show up. And I take it very seriously. So that's why I don't smile. It's nothing personal. If I see you in person, I'll smile. How's that? Are you working on a second These Gray Men album? I am working on a second These Gray Men album, though it's, it's uh, again, purely for my pleasure. So it takes a lot longer when you have to focus on everything else, like family and work and making a living and supporting uh, all the ventures that I have. So I do it when I can. I was actually, one of the reasons I'm playing today is because I want to start warming up for another session to record two or three more songs. I've already recorded three um, as far as the covers album is what people are talking about for these great men, for those of you who are not aware of, the, of it. It's uh, something I did purely for fun. How do I smell? Oh, what do I smell like?
if I put cologne on, I smell like cologne. If I've been sweating, I probably don't smell so great. Usually I smell just fine. I don't, um, I don't generally know my odor. You might want to ask my wife. What's your moon sign? Hmm. Well, I'm a, I'm born July 15th, 1972. So, uh, I think I, I'm a cancer. I don't know what the moon sign is, but let's see here. Thank you. Thank you for everybody saying, I love you. What's weird. How often do I go to Torpedo Orange? I go at least once or twice a month. Do I respect Joey Jordanson? Of course I do. He was a very nice guy. It's a sad story and he was a fantastic drummer. Do I have wrist pains? No. Knock on wood, guys. I don't have any pains. I've got no arthritis. Uh, thank you. My wife will appreciate that. She is beautiful and very uh, sweet as well. Um, so far, so good on that front, you know, um, which is surprising because the way I play, you would expect something, but I don't know, nothing yet. I could check it up. Okay, I was born, I think, like 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning, July 15th, 1972. I was born in Lebanon. I don't know if that factors into uh, however you're going to factor that in, whatever. Do you ever get blisters? I do get blisters occasionally, but I'm not as much as I used to when I couldn't hear everybody and I had to, you know, I was playing more angry and... Um, but uh, now that I can hear everybody with the inner monitors we have, they're just fantastic. Most influential musicians for me, number one is my father. He was the most... Shut up! He was the most influential. Um, I'm the most funny guy in the SOED, by the way, for those of you who want to know. You wouldn't believe it, but me and Shavo. Shavo number two. Um, Keith Moon was incredibly influential. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix. I liked a ton of drummers, um, John Bonham. As far as drummers, the top three, first tier are Keith Moon, number one, John Bonham, and um, and uh, Neil Peart, of course. Neil Peart, sorry. Do you like Zach Hill's style? I do, actually, yeah, he's good. I'm not gonna shut up. <laughs> What's the best crowd? Um, there's a lot of, I don't know how to answer that. There, there's incredible crowds pretty much everywhere. But the best crowd is the one that you're in. How's that? My dog is guarding me right now. Um, do you like Queen? Yeah, I do like Queen. Met you at WonderCon. Oh, thank you. Nice of you to say I'm nice. I don't speak Arabic. I talk Arabi. I know a couple of words here and there. But we left Lebanon uh, just as I was getting in school, so I didn't get to learn too much. No touring plans right now, guys, I wish. New album predictions? <laughs> shut up, okay. If I shut up, you won't be able to watch this. I love watching movies. Um, I'm a massive uh, TV show and movie fan, and I don't know if you guys know, I actually write my own comic book that hopefully at some point will be made into a TV show or a movie. All right, hello again. How'd you start drums? I started wanting to play drums when I was two, and then finally, when I was 15, my parents got me a drum set for my birthday. Best place I've seen on tour, the Louvre would be my number one. I loved, I loved the Louvre. I did watch Whiplash, pretty good. I don't know how to play guitar. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. I am a Christian. Um, obrigado. Can you unlock my friends? If they behave, I'll unlock your friends. Send me a list of who they are. Privately, obviously. Let's see here. Tips for younger musicians that want to start a band. Uh, put everything you have into it and understand that you're probably not going to make it. But somebody's got to make it, so give it your best shot. John, are we friends? No, we're not friends. If I don't know you personally, we're acquaintances. I don't play any other instrument. Drums are enough for me. I love you too. Hello. I don't follow Hungarian politics per se. I can speak Armenian, but it's embarrassing how poorly. I love Dave Lombardo. He's a fantastic drummer. I prefer burritos personally. <laughs> 
Some of these questions are amazing. Um, we are pals. Okay, I'm cool with that. Thank you. Uh, you're the best drummer. Okay, well, I don't know about that. but How long did it take me to become a pro drummer? Well, depends on what you consider a pro drummer. I think I was pretty good when I was like 20. And at that point, um, pizza or burger, that's a tough choice. I don't know if I could... I don't know if I could choose. How about a pizza burger? So by 20, I think I was pretty proficient. Um, of course, going in the studio the first time, you're under a microscope, so that's a little bit of a learning curve. What would you do if you weren't the talented musician? Probably the same things I have done. I'll play drums, and um, I would create a write, and I would buy and sell comic books, which I love. I don't, the most expensive comic book is uh, Six Figures. I left scars for personal reasons that I uh, will never get into. I've never been to jail. <laughs> I probably should have been a couple of times. Hardest song to play live is uh, Sad Statue. I just was never able to get that song right live. The double bass is just too fast for me. And it's easier in the studio because I could play one part of it perfectly and then we kind of cut it up and put it together but it's not it's not it's not as easy for me on uh, on the live I, if I put the effort into it I could have probably done it but we never played the song anymore so what does it matter uh, did you study at university no I barely graduated in high school <clears throat> so never went to university I went to Valley College for two weeks and I met uh, Dave Hagoken there for the second time. And we ended up uh, getting into a band a couple of years later. Bye. Do you go to conventions still? Yes, I do. I do go to conventions. I love comic book conventions. I don't drink coffee, so it's going to have to be tea. Studying? Okay. Will you be 45 or 47? I'm going to be 50 in July. I appreciate that. Are you real? Only in your imagination. Why don't we play certain songs live? That's a really good question. Uh, probably because they're either too hard to do live or because we have so many songs that, um, you know, we want to we wanna pick the ones that, and also we play infrequently, so we don't really get bored of playing the songs that we play. What's your comp book about? My comp book is about um, something that comes to the earth. I don't like drugs, I don't do drugs. It's about something that comes to earth, lands on earth, and uh, becomes the linchpin of a society that emerges that has um, eternal life. And it's about, the, it's about what you would do to get there, live there, and uh, what you would do to stay there. And it's also about how the rest of the world would react if they weren't able to uh, go. You know, like what would happen? That's the basics of it, but it goes a lot deeper than that. Check it out if you want. No, I don't do drugs. I don't have any expectations for a new album. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to play in Brazil and everywhere else. I love Tool. Do you like 22 from Shabo? I'd like anything Shabo does and support anything Shabo does, even though I don't smoke weed. DC or Marvel? Um, I like both. The, the Vertigo series from DC was some of my favorite uh, produced comic books, especially in the early 90s. You had Preacher, you had... Um, I'm blanking out, of course. Sandman was an amazing series. But I think that if I had to pick one, it would be Marvel. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. Um, <laughs> what do I think about Baden? Uh, who's Baden? Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> My favorite employee at Torpedo Comics is uh, Lauren, but I'm not going to say which one.
Why didn't I put more double bass on toxicity? Because it didn't need it. If it needed it, I would put more. Hey cousin, how you doing? What's your favorite South Park episode? <laughs> Do I have to pick a favorite? Um, I don't know, that's a tough one. I'd have to sit down and really, really think about that because there are so many. You're either born with it or you're not. I don't know if you could find it. Uh, at least not for me. How is your... Taylor was a loss. He's a very good, sweet person. But, um, you know, unfortunately he succumbed to um, whatever personal struggles he had. Or maybe he was just having a great time that went awry. I don't know. But obviously I feel horrible about it. My favorite comic book of all time, if I had to pick one, would probably have been uh, Sandman or the Fantastic Four. Both are fantastic. Prison Song or Deer Dance? Why pick one? I love papayas. <laughs> Jane Hedgen is a babe? Who's Jane Hedgen? Okay. I, yeah, I love all the people everywhere. I do collect Funko Pops, especially the exclusives. I love those. I've seen The Office, yeah. The interesting questions, guys. I, it's, what you're curious about is amazing. Sorry, I'm getting blown up. Sorry. Favorite food? Sushi is probably my number one. Favorite. Love you? What? I love you too. What's your opinion? Slash from Guns N' Roses. He's a great guitar player. Have I tried crystal meth? No, I haven't. Why, you got some? Any expectations about Multiverse of Madness? No, I don't like math either. Um, no, I don't have any expectations. I just hope that they get back to what got them here, which is good storytelling instead of preaching. Do you watch Better Call Saul? Yeah, it's fantastic. Dave Grohl's a great drummer, terrific. S-O-O-D, Funko. Eh, you never know. Maybe it'll happen. I do play some video games when I have time, but that's pretty rare. We still have the leftover tracks from Mesmerized Hypnotize. We haven't done anything with them. They're just sitting there. Maybe one day we'll do something, but I doubt it. David Lynch is okay. More Armenian songs at concerts? How many more? What is my opinion about tacos? They're great. When am I coming to Florida? I don't know. Do you draw? No. No. But I do enjoy drawing. I'm just not good at it. I enjoy painting, but I'm not good at that either. But it is fun. It, it, it's fun to do things even if you're not good at them just because it's your experience. I actually like to get into sculpting. I just don't know where to start. I played an hour of System of a Down songs. Where were you? I am still in Vegas and sometimes I'm in LA, but mostly Vegas. I wrote all my drum parts. Led Zeppelin. You could teach me how to sculpt, okay. Where are you? I have taught a couple of private lessons um, here and there. I did it a couple times for charity, but uh, nothing consistent. There, there's a, my next door neighbor actually, I taught her a couple lessons and she's pretty good. What's my favorite candy? 
Chocolate or like traditional like Sour Patch stuff? Specify. Grab a sculpting wheel. Okay. Why do you need a wheel? I like uh, some of it. I think it would have been better with system, if you know what I mean. I did go to Grant High School. Say what's up, Christian. What's going on, brother? I hope you're doing well. Favorite band? I don't have a favorite band, but the Who is up there. I don't smoke, brother. Orange, because nobody ever picked it when uh, I was a kid. And I don't like, uh, I don't know, I like to defend those who need it. My biggest inspiration for writing Essentia was probably the movie Armageddon. Because that's for, what I was watching that movie and I got the idea for it. I do like Radiohead. How do you say I love Brazil and Portuguese? I don't know. Do I like Harry Styles? I don't have a problem with Harry Styles. No, ho. come on, man. <laughs> Play a Cumbia song? I don't know what that is. Can we hug you? If you see me, you can hug me. Favorite U.S. venue to go to or play at? Be specific. Favorite Leo movie, Leonardo DiCaprio, is what you're talking about? Um, he's a fantastic actor. Also a comic book collector, from what I understand. The Aviator, he was just phenomenal in that movie. I don't know if he... I don't know if he won uh, the Academy Award for it, but he certainly should have. I already answered it. Do I ever hike? Do I look like I hike? What does Darren smell like? Usually he smells like weed. How does it feel when I that I know people are doing uh, SOAD covers and are in cover bands. I think that's incredibly, incredibly cool, complimentary, you know, like uh, the fact that, that people are into us that much is pretty special, you know, because I played a lot of covers and I love playing covers still. Mesmerizer Hypnotized, to me it's one album. I like Pearl Jam. Favorite headphone brand? Bose. What do I think happens after death? I don't really think about that at all. Um, because I don't see the point of thinking about something that I have absolutely no control over and won't know until it happens. So I don't waste my time with it. Hi, Stacy. Do you have a collection of system around the guitar? What is that, three? Four, maybe? <laughs> I, I'm two thirds of the way through the new Batman movie and I think it's pretty good you know um, of course I was apprehensive when I found out about who was going to be the lead actor and I think that um, it's not necessarily the Batman that I love I think Christian Bell was probably the best Batman but uh, I enjoyed the movie so far. It's just three hours long, so I had to take a break and I haven't been able to go back and watch the rest. I don't know how the loose rope tight the tensions. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I love you too. Let's not get into that, guys. Let's keep it positive here, okay? I get that you're disappointed that we haven't made more albums and that we don't tour more. You're not alone, you know. Um, but we gotta, we gotta deal with the the cards that were dealt in life. Hi, Clara. Goodfellas is a fantastic movie. I have not had a supernatural experience. Punch you.
You really want me to punch you? Listen to your band, okay? Sorry guys, I'm missing a lot of the questions because it goes so fast. I have both, PlayStation and Xbox. A slap fight? No, no. I would not I would not participate in that. I've seen uh, I've seen what happens to some of those people and I'm not interested in it. Have I ever met Danny Carey? I have met Danny Carey. He's a, he's a good dude and a fantastic drummer, of course. Hi, Austin. Darren once hit me with his guitar. Well, I hope it didn't hurt. Johnny Rotten? I don't really have thoughts on Johnny Rotten. I do miss going on tour. I enjoy it very much. Have I ever physically fought with anyone in the system of a down? No comment. See, eating seeds is a pastime activity, as a matter of fact. Pink Florida, the Beatles. You can't pick between those two. Country? Not a big country fan. Um, of course I want to fight, if it happened. I use Piesty symbols. Why, why would you have your name as Go Fuck Yourself 420? Why? I don't like uh, sunflower seeds. I've never been able to eat them, so that's why I didn't eat them in the video. And the director was like, could you eat some too? And I said, no. I don't do things I don't want to do. The best Armenian restaurant in the United States that I've been to is Carousel. Frank Sinatra's great. Palestine or Israel? Why do you have to pick? Do you have a what? What do I like most about Brazil? What I like most about Brazil is, aside from the fact that the people are lovely, is I have a very good friend named Theo that lives there, and he plays in a band called Ego Kill Talent. I didn't know Olympus could put out a new album. South of Heaven is my favorite Slayer album. Hello, Venezuela. I can't believe you guys are still sticking with this. I might just make you stay on for like seven hours and see, test your resolve. Probably not though, my battery's dying. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like a couple more questions. How'd I become a Bills fan? All right, so the first Super Bowl I, I watched was the Buffalo Bills versus uh, the New York Giants. And I had to pick a team. And I, I don't know, there was just something about the the Buffalo team that I really liked. And I think I'd watched a couple of the playoff games as well. And the fans just were seemed amazing to me that they're out there in that cold weather and, and um, supporting the team in the way that they did. So... I grew to, to uh, love that team and knew a couple of players. But now, although I still, you know, root for the Buffalo Bills, I obviously also root for the Las Vegas Raiders. But at the, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me because it's a sport. It's fun to watch. Obviously, they're very talented. But there are so many more serious issues that I'm dealing with that it's hard to focus on it. I, uh, I never went to my prom. I didn't have a girlfriend. I was still a virgin. I've been to Italy, yeah. I've been to Italy. My favorite comedian? Daniel Tosh is amazing. Um, there's a lot of really good comedians. Dave Chappelle has been amazing in the past, although these days, 
I don't know, it's just a little, it's less funny and more serious and I don't like that. Chris Rock is fantastic. And Sebastian Maniscalco is probably one of my favorites. I, I come to Mexico all the time. I'll be there for my birthday, as a matter of fact. Hello from Native America. Well, hello back. Best Armenian drummer ever? Well, I don't even think that's true. Hi, boo boo. What's that reason, princess? I just had candy. Don't even think about getting candy. No, I just had cake. You had what? Caterade. Cake? Caterade. Come give your dad a budget. Well, the reason mom sent me here. What was that reason? Hmm? It is... It is... I'm kind of scared. I mean, I'm not scared to help tell you. All right. Can I just show you? You'll be surprised. Okay, I'm going to come with you right now. Give me a... I'll be right in, okay? Yeah. Love you. But, uh, can I come at the same time as you? We. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to leave you. Um, thanks for being a part of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Are you doing a video? I will.